pandemic era measure that blocked many migrants from claiming asylum in the country expires next week. Thousands of people a day are crossing the border into the country. With the lifting of Title 42, the crisis is expected to grow even worse in places like the border city of El Paso, Texas. A long line at the border right here crossing outside of El Paso, Texas gets longer each and every day. Thousands of people from Ecuador, Colombia and Nicaragua gather there trying to get into the country. Right now, about 1,600 migrants are processed at the border and then released into Texas where shelters are, and hotels are full. With the end of Title 42 next week, officials expect that number of migrants seeking asylum to double. The Department of Homeland Security has released a six-point plan for when Title 42 is lifted, which includes resources at the border, strengthening penalties for unlawful entry, and improves the intake process. Critics say the White House is not doing enough to stem the flow. Meanwhile, 19 Republican-led states have asked the appeals court to delay the termination of Title 42. That bid was rejected on Friday. The federal appeals court in Washington ruling says that the stage, the stage for the case to go to the Supreme Court. The Biden administration is set to stop enforcing that Title 42 on Wednesday.